Listen, you want to know about Rasta? Well, let me tell you. Yeah, Rasta for I. When I was 11 years old, family, I asked my grand uncle, Bongo Ega, to teach me about Rasta. And he looked me in the eye and he said, You're not ready yet to know about Rasta. I was 11 years old. But we never have that discussion again until when I was 18 years old. And he looked me in the eye and he said, you remember the question you asked me? Now I see it, it's in your eyes. And his warning to me and my brothers and my cousin was that if you guys wanted to grow your locks, you must grow it with righteousness. If you don't grow for righteousness, it will mad you, make you go crazy. You say, no, I didn't understand that. But as I go through time and space and traveling on my experience, now I'm having a deeper, a deeper understanding because I'm actually living it. And what he was actually saying that he see my eye, he was looking at my soul. You see, Rasta is not about your physical appearance. It's really about your self-development. It's of the heart. So when I'm going to say, hey Rasta far right, what they're actually saying, you must strive to be honest. Strive to be authentic. You know? Strive to to, to, to live the love and able to share it. It must be your liberty, the way you step, the way you walk, the things you do, the thing that you consume, the conversation that you have, your word power. That's what my, my uncle saw. He saw it in my eyes. And he, he's warning to me that you must continue to strive for that. Don't get sidetracked. And let me tell you, I travel. I've been in the military, spent time overseas, different countries, and travel around, going to different situations and tribulation. But that conversation with my grand uncle, that forever would be my foundation. Because he was speaking to the core of me. It was his soul reaching out to my soul and said, remember who you are, that we are one. And we're here to liberate. You asked Rasta in my time, what is Rasta Farah? He said, peace and love. And I and I job is to liberate the world with love, with peace. That's what they would say. I just want to show and to share my experience and to say to you my brothers and sisters whether you know it or not but we are all Rasta because Rasta is about life it's about connecting to mother nature it's about experiencing it like in the tree there's life look at the grass is, is the wind is blowing the sun is shining everything is alive that is Rasta for right. It's liberty. It's about liberty. It's about oneness, one aim, one destiny. And what is the destiny? Constantly recreating the divine ultimate. Yeah. Much love and respect to you. And don't forget to smile. Don't forget to connect. Connect with Ayman. Connect with your family, connect with your friends. Connection, one love. Don't put that in there. I won. <laughs>